it's Megan. Welcome back to the Walter and Homestead. Uh, this evening, I just kind of wanted to share some exciting things. Uh, the first exciting thing, like absolutely ecstatic, is Dylan and I signed up to take a master's gardening class. And so the first class that we attended was yesterday evening. And uh, I learned so much. He had to work. But um, I was able to go and he'll join me next week. But I learned so much. Um, yesterday's lesson was basically on insects and all sorts of different little critters, um, little things that like I'd never even heard of that um, happen with gardening with insects. Um, learned about boars, just how to treat some things different ways. And I mean, it was just really neat, uh, lots of information. But here is the manual. Look at how big this sucker is. Uh, so it is loaded with so much information, pictures. I mean, just so much good stuff. Like, if you've ever thought about taking a class, like, you could just take a class to get the book. <laughs> like, it is so much information. Um, we found the class through our county extension office uh, so maybe call your local county extension and see if they are hosting a master gardening class or maybe even like the next county over um, so that's something that I would totally recommend and um, suggest looking into because it is been really neat um, if you have any more questions about it let me know and I can maybe answer them uh, so that is the first big thing the second big thing is Dylan got me this beauty. I shared it on our Instagram, um, a better pictures, but Dylan got me this big box to keep all of our, my, our seeds in. So it has a dragonfly up here on the corner, this is gold, and then um, it has a dragonfly down here, and I've shared how much I love dragonflies with you guys, but I am now uh, putting my seeds in here uh, I have a whole collection of seeds already <laughs> um, but we are going to be attending a seed swap and so I'm gonna sit down here um, and go through the seeds that I have and um, put them in some seed packets I just ordered these packages online um, through Amazon and then I just put our little logo on the front and then I'll write what e what is in each packet and then on the back I'll put some information for whoever um, gets some of our seeds but that is super exciting um, I'm gonna go through here we got a um, order of seeds from in my gardener uh, today I was so excited uh, you know you order something online and you just kind of track it and see when it will show up and it was supposed to arrive Saturday uh, so tomorrow today's Friday and I looked and it said arrived <laughs> and I was so excited um, it was like a kid at Christmas and I had had on shorts and it was six or not it was it it was 19 degrees today and I took off running outside in my shorts threw out a pair of flip-flops and ran down to the mailbox uh, and pulled out our package of seeds so I was just super excited um, with what came in the mail uh, but I figured I would rattle them all off and kind of share with you what we ordered. Now, I, you saw my box. I have a whole bunch more seeds from last year. I have seeds that we saved last year. Um, I, you know, the seed swap we are attending, planning on coming home with a couple of new things. Uh, but I figured I would rattle off what we ordered for our first order of seeds. I'm going to go with another couple of new companies. Um, not quite sure. I'm going to sit down later and look. Uh, but maybe order some more seeds this weekend. Planning on starting some seeds um, probably the 18th, so like next week, um, or a little bit later, uh, kind of to go with our last frost date in the zone that we are in. So without further ado, let me show you what seeds we got. We've got the old German tomato, sugar snap peas, uh, Marin tomatoes, Boxcar Willie, the Trophy Tomato, Silvery Fir Tree Tomato, the Wasp, Waspcon, totally not saying that right, Peach Tomato, 
Hungarian yellow wax pepper. It is a sweet pepper. We've got some zucchini, um, homestead tomato, a rose tomato. This looks like a more meaty tomato. Uh, red, red shishuto, hill country red okra, purple cone flower. Now I have some of these seeds from last year. Um, there are 200 seeds in this package. Uh, purple cone flower is a medicinal herb. You harvest the roots after a couple of years and it's good for your allergies. Uh, white linen, California poppy. I will probably, I'm gonna set these aside. Uh, this package has a thousand seeds in it. Uh, but I will set these two flower seeds aside and that will probably be part of the seed swap. We've got some yellow plum tomatoes, Aunt Molly's ground cherry tomato, big rainbow tomato. These are really pretty looking. Oh, the thing that I'm really excited about is the Mexican uh, sour gherkin. So it's the, cu the cucamelons. I'm excited to try those. This was a different one. Dylan and I had talked about getting either this melon or there was another one uh, that was kind of shaped like a potato kiwi uh, but we decided to go with this one just to see and it is the jelly melon cucumber we have the or the tender sweet orange watermelon i will put some of those with uh, the seed swap uh, muncher cucumbers i'll throw some of those in too we've got uh, scarlet names carrot um, we have some brandy wine yellow tomatoes we've got some crooked neck squash this is really pretty um, autumn beauty sunflowers national pickling cucumber <laughs> Rudgers tomatoes. These did really good uh, last year in the garden. Shishuto peppers. That'd be for Dylan. Uh, Jimmy Nardello pepper. It is a sweet pepper. Piccolono basil. Maybe not saying that right. I had thought about growing this one on the windowsill of the kitchen. Um, Cuban cumanel pepper. And then this one's pretty. Um, a manna tomato. It's an orange tomato. We've got the Sun Globe tomato. Green purslane, which purslane grows wild. Um, usually it's like in your driveway cracks or your uh, gravel. Um, but that's usually kind of where it grows. It is a weed, people call it. Uh, but it is high in vitamins and minerals and um it's good with salads like if you toss it up throw it in a salad um you could definitely add full flavor salad with some purslane and then you could throw in some nasturtiums and have a very flavorful salad um we have some caraway we've got some mammoth long island dill um purple top white globe turnips we've got some fennel we've got some borage we've got some hailstone radish it's all white and like this is new radishes and turnips um, that stuff's new to our homestead um, striped Roma tomatoes we've got some fenugreek Fenugreek is typically good for nursing moms. It um, helps with your breast milk. I took fenugreek teas uh, when I was nursing our kids. Um, habanero lemon pepper. Ooh, that's Dylan. <clears throat> and then we've got some light red kidney beans. We've got the German Johnson tomato. Keystone. Uh, resistant giant pepper. 
uh, Golden California Wonder Sweet Pepper. And we've got some cinnamon basil. Uh, we've got purple ruffles basil. Purple beauty pepper. Um, the Mennonite tomato. Abe Lincoln tomato. These did well last year. And then we've got uh, some lettuce. We've got some cherry bell radishes. Autumn bell pepper. Got chocolate beauty sweet. So we have a purple beauty and a chocolate beauty, pepper wise. Not sure like what if there's a flavor difference. If you know, drop it in the comments below. Uh, we got some Bonnie's best tomatoes. We grew those last year. They did pretty well. Um, these tomatoes, I'm pretty much growing for Dylan's grandma. They are yellow pear tomatoes. Uh, she can't handle high acidic stuff and she really enjoys tomatoes and she says that those tomatoes don't bother her as much. Um, we've got some Margolobe tomatoes, San Maranzo tomatoes. These did excellent in our garden last year. We grew, I'd say we had like three or four plants um, and they did really well up until the end of the season and then we had blossom end rot but that is more due to um, lack of calcium in the soil so that is something that we're working on. Um, is going to be amending our beds. And then we've got some butternut squash. Uh, the butternut squash, thinking about planting it in the melon patch. Um, so that's kind of what we're thinking with it. But that's kind of our seed haul for um, our first round of seeds. I should have ordered our seeds earlier, but I don't know about you. You go to order your seeds, everything is sold out. No matter, it seems like no matter what company you go with, um, so you just kind of have to pick and choose when you can get the most seeds, uh, when you can. So that is our seed haul. I've still got, I don't know, another 60 or 70 seed packets in here. But I'm going to go through these. I've set a stack aside to put in some seeds, uh, envelopes to take with me tomorrow. Um, so excited about that to go to a seed swap. Um, there are several home, other homesteading channels that are going to be going. Um, Alicia from Providence Farmstead is actually co-hosting it. Um, so excited to see her again. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of our seed, seed collection edition and this exciting new adventure that we are taking. So thanks for joining us this evening. As always, guys, take care and God bless.